Hi guys, we're doing bread pudding this week and we are going to work together for a change and do one and then do the other. Yeah. Sweet bread puddings, yeah. Sweet bread puddings, exactly, yeah. dessert. Um, and the first one we're doing is a chocolate bourbon bread pudding. By student. By student Ep Epicure. Yes. Yeah. Rachel. Yeah, so um, we're going to get started. Yeah. I'm going to crack some eggs. Yeah. So often with a bread pudding you're just putting together a custard, a very simple custard that you pour over the bread. And so it's, we're combining milk and four eggs, mm -hmm. and then a nice wall of bourbon. <laughs> and we're going to use, she likes Rebel Yell, um, but it, we didn't have that, so we're using um, Bully Bourbon, which is um, quite tasty. And it has a really nice bottle. Yeah, I kind of like to have a little sip at night before bed. <laughs> Do you want to give that a whisk? Yeah. So you lightly whisk it so it's smooth. And in the meantime, we have some bread cubes in this bowl that have been left out overnight so they're nice and stale yeah. and it's just a, uh, a baguette that was cut up into about five inch pieces and we're going to put in not very much sugar because right. student epicure says she doesn't like her bread puddings too sweet and we agree we think this is perfect so it's just yeah. half a cup of turbinado sugar and that gets sprinkled over the top and then you want to add yeah the fun stuff and if you uh if Turbinado uh, sounds kind of foreign to you. You probably have seen the boxes of raw sugar, and it's the same thing. Yeah. Okay, and then the custard goes in over top. It takes literally five minutes to put together. So now you just let this sit for about 45 minutes so that the bread can soak up the custard. Yeah. And then you put it in a baking dish and bake it, but we'll, we'll get to that later. Yeah, we're going to get to the next one. So our second bread pudding is airy rosemary citrus. Pignoli bread, bread pudding. pudding. <laughs> it's kind of a tongue twister. Um, we had to practice that a few times. Uh, <laughs> and, and it's by Gabriella's Kitchen. And you start by infusing milk with a few things. Some rosemary. Just a couple of big sprigs. Yeah. And some lemon zest, grapefruit zest, and orange zest. Triumvirate of zests. <laughs> and a little bit of vanilla. Yeah. There you go. And then you just toss it on the stove, bring it to a boil, and then... Uh, cover it and let it infuse for 15 minutes. So we're still working on the airy rosemary citrus pinoli bread pudding. I think I got it all out. Um, so we now have these toasted uh, bread cubes in a bowl here. They're just toasted in a 300 degree oven for 10 minutes. And this is sort of an Italian bread that we're using. And you just pour over them the juice from one lemon and half a cup of melted butter. Just a little bit of butter. And you just want to toss them around in it so that they soak it in while you do the other stuff. All right, now I'm going to get started on some of that other stuff. The first thing I'm going to do is take the rosemary out of the infused milk. And then I'm going to add honey. You can use whatever kind of honey you like, but we, we feel like actually a, a fairly mild honey would be a good way to go. So that's done. And then you move on to the next thing, which is the egg yolks. You beat them up until they're um, light. So you separated the eggs. The egg yolks are in there. The egg whites are in here. Yeah. And I'm going to use this uh, electric mixer to... So I'm just going to start whipping these. And you just want to whip them until they hold sort of just below six feet. You don't want to over whip them. Yeah. Over beat them. quite warm so I'm going to just add this really slowly to the yolk so it tempers it and doesn't make scrambled honey flavored egg. <laughs> Although that sounds kind of good. <laughs> it would be horrible. <laughs> mm. You can actually really smell the honey just because it's pouring yeah. in there. Fantastic. All right. Great. So that's, that's, good. that's ready to go, right? Yep. Now I'm going to go back to these guys. It's sort of softish, but you really don't want to overbeat them because then they separate. Yeah. So the first thing you do okay. is uh, you actually put Sorry. the bread cubes right into the buttered pan. Yeah. So that goes in. So you mix the uh, egg whites in with the custard. You know, the thing I, I noticed yesterday um, was that um, you, so you want to make sure that you disperse the foam kind of through evenly. The foam, evenly over the top. So don't just pour in one area. You kind of have to like move around. Oh, you did a good job. Well, well like, whoops. We can, and you can sort of one. smooth it around a little bit. Oh, right, yeah. The crowning touch is a whole half cup of toasted pignoli or pine nuts. So the bread, the chocolate bourbon bread pudding cubes have been soaking away. 
getting all boozed up. And you stir them every once in a while while they're doing that. And then this one, this is like a totally low maintenance bread pudding. You, and you'll notice the Ooh, sugar. The bourbon. I know, it's really nice. Fantastic. It's like a little, uh, <laughs> I'll wake you up in the morning. Therapy. Um, you, the, the sugar does not totally dissolve, so you kind of have to disperse it and, and the, the chocolate, chocolate around here, the little dish. And there we go. So these guys are going to both go into the oven at the same time. They are, although this one gets a water bath. And you just gently put the bread pudding in the pan. Yes, and then we heated water in a, in a tea kettle. We come up about halfway up the size of the pan, of the interior pan, that is. All right, woohoo, nice job. They're in. Okay. So, through the miracle of food video, we have finished <laughs> bread pudding. So, we have the chocolate bourbon bread pudding, a nice slice of it right here. The rosemary citrus pine nut. Airy. Airy. <laughs> Airy in there somewhere. Pudding. So, we're going to have a bite of each. So, the thing that's kind of interesting about this one mm -hmm. is that the, the custard actually sinks to the bottom, so you get two layers. You have this oh, yeah. layer of custard, and then you have this layer of uh, kind of like foamy meringue and bread on top with the pine nuts. And, and this one's more incorporated, and it's really the, the bread yeah. gets really spongy, and the bourbon really soaks in there. Yeah, and then you get the nice dark chocolate. Mm-hmm. It's great. Fantastic. So, oh, honey, now you got to tell us which one. It's a tough decision. Mm -hmm.